Hey guys! These are gonna be my October favorites and I am doing like some other favorites besides makeup and those are gonna be at the end um, but we're gonna start with the makeup and sorry if the lighting isn't great today it's like rainy and drab out <laughs> um, but I thought it might still be enough light but anyway my first favorite is my Benefit Hello Flawless powder pressed powder um, this is like a powder foundation or setting powder. I use it for either or. I've hit some major pan on, on this one. Um, he's in process of being finished. Um, and this is one of my all-time favorite powders. Um, I've gone through multiples of them and I have another one since this one's almost done. Um, waiting for me. I wear the shade Never Settle Petal. Oops, the brush fell out the bottom. Um, but I just really love this powder. It's matte, it's medium to full coverage, um, you can apply it wet or dry. I use it both as a setting powder and as a foundation and I've really been loving it. I mentioned that already, <laughs> but it's because I've been spotty this month. I've kind of been breaking out and it's a matte finish so it hides a lot of texture on your skin and it has good added coverage to it. Um, so like on top of whatever foundation or concealers I put on, it'll add a little bit of coverage as well, which when you're breaking out, I will take. <laughs> um, and so most of my cheek products, like most of my face products are all matte this month because of the breaking out, including my Bobbi Brown bronzer, which is my next favorite. Um, I really love this bronzer. It's like a red toned bronzer. It's matte. And I like that it's a little ready toned, it makes it look really natural on your skin, it's a little bit warmer toned, and it means that I can wear it without any blush on and still kind of look alive, <laughs> which I've been doing. Um, the only downside to this, I wear the shade Golden Light 1. The only downside is the packaging of mine broke. It won't stay closed. Like the button latch closure broke. Um, it's a hard plastic case, the plastic snapped. But it's just kind of annoying because now it won't close. It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> but oh well, it's still a great bronzer. Um, for blushes, I've been obsessed with pink blush, like any pink blush at all. I've just been loving, especially Luminous Blush from Hourglass. I have mine in, in the palette. I don't own it separately, but it is a permanent blush that you can get on its own. It's this one right here. It's what I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing, I'm wearing this bronzer as well, but um, this blush. I don't know what it is about this pink blush. It is like very much a fuchsia. They call it luminous blush, but it's kind of like a pinky purpley kind of color. Um, and it's just, it just makes you look alive. I like the pinks with like the cooler undertones because it just like looks like you're awake. <laughs> and I've been really loving it. And when I want a more subdued pink because I haven't been wearing anything but pink. <laughs> I've been reaching for NARS Love and I'm kind of a bitch for even mentioning it because it's limited edition and no longer available. Um, which is rude. It's very rude of me to even talk about it. It's a, you know, nice soft muted pink. Blue undertones. Shut. <laughs> and bluey yellow undertones. So purpley undertones. But it's really beautiful, um, and there's lots of subdued pinks out in the world. Um, even I found even in my collection the like big tart disc from this year, which you can still get on Sephora's website, has like a muted pinky blush in it. And this is like very similar in shade to Love. Um, so any muted pink kind of situation, I have been very into. <laughs> Um, and then besides all of those makeup loves, I've been really, really into matte eyeshadows. And this is like the spread of them that I've been wearing all the time. Um, just last week I talked in the blog about Nars Madrog. I think it's Madrog. It might not be. <laughs> um, but this is a matte duo. It's like a matte cream and a matte brown. It's perfect. I use it all the time. You compare it with any other... I look and it just, it's, it's perfect. I will use it, it's like the kind of thing you use every day, because it's just, those are the shades I use every day, no matter what the eye look is. 
but I'm also very much into my Naked Basics palettes. More my Naked 2 Basics, probably because it's new-er, I guess, um, and I've been enjoying the cool tones, all that kind of stuff. They are quite powdery, um, but I do find that they blend, so I don't mind it too, too much. Just not a huge fan. I really don't like powdery shadows. Which is ridiculous because shadows are powder most of the time. <laughs> they're the ones I like and most of them are powdery when they're mattes and I've been using a lot of mattes. Um, and then my Naked Basics 2, maybe, mm, my Naked Basics 1, <laughs> the original, um, has also been a favorite when I'm feeling more warmer toned. Um, but I really like these. I was just really into matte shadows. I'm kind of rocking a different eye look today, <laughs> but... That's what I, basically I've been wearing all month, is kind of a nude eye, really simple basic matte eye, and then pink cheeks. <laughs> so, I don't know, I just really love that look. I did a post about it, you heard me gush, enough. So, I'm now done with the makeup, and I'm going to move on to my other stuff, and if you are not interested in the jewelry or clothing items that I have been enjoying this month, feel free. Uh, to leave a nice comment down below <laughs> and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if, on the other hand, you would like to hear about the rest of this stuff, uh, hang on, we're about to get there. <laughs> so my first favorite of the month is actually, it's like a little necklace. It's, um, it's really delicate, to be honest, and it's just like a little bar, it's like a super, super tiny little bar, and it's very, very delicate. Um, and this is from bawabar.com and it's just they have like these bar I've really been enjoying like a delicate necklace with a sweater I don't know and that one's kind of my delicate necklace of choice lately my other favorite is this little guy <laughs> this is one of those pearl earrings that's like the the one where you have it in the back and in the front and this is um, this is, um but I really love the look that this has we have it on and I find that it just looks really awesome. I love earrings where like something's going on in the back as well as in the front. I don't know, I think it adds just something else, something unique to it. And I know these are like all the rage right now, so it's not really anything special. But I love it. Um, I've been wearing it loads. The only thing I will say is I'm on the phone a lot <laughs> at work. And this is the pain when you have a phone up against your ear. It's just... Mm. It's not very comfortable, but otherwise, it's awesome. <laughs> Just, if you're on the phone a lot, be warned. Um, my last favorite is, is a clothing item. And it's it's more like an item type than an actual, than this particular one. Like, this one's kind of cute. It's from last year, so I don't think you can get it anymore. But it's a black sweater. It's just a black sweater. Um, Long-sleeved, black, basic sweater. Um, I love black sweaters. <laughs> I have so many of them. Um, each of them are, you know, slightly different, so I have justification for owning all of them. But this is just my plain, plain black sweater. Um, it has a zipper down the back. It's blue. This one does, but none of my other ones do, and the zipper I mean, is really cool. It adds a little something, but really, black sweaters. <laughs> black sweaters are just... I love black sweaters and jeans with like nice boots, preferably knee-high boots, you know, maybe somewhere in your calf, but like preferably knee-high boots or taller. I love really tall boots. Um, even with like booties though, just a black sweater and jeans and like a trench coat. That's my trench coat. It's just, it's chic, it looks good on everybody and it's warm. And I just, I love it. I'm a real classics girl when it comes to my fashion preferences. I prefer kind of classic clean lines. Um, and it's just, I just love the look. I just love the look of like a black sweater and jeans and a trench coat and a scarf. Scarves are, are pretty big for me. Um, but I just, I don't know what it is. I love black sweaters. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's a really um, basic favorite. <laughs> We're gonna go basic favorites. 
This month's been a lot of basic favorites. Um, but that's kind of my favorites. Um, I hope you liked the added bits that were in. And I don't know, I don't know if how far I should extend the added bits. If you're interested in more than like jewelry and fashion. I don't know. Um, you should let me know if you're interested in more stuff. Um, I did travel a lot this month, so there kind of isn't a lot of favorites because I've mostly been working. Um, but let me know if you like this with the, I already said that, with that itself. I'm just, I'm repeating myself now. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see, I'm going to be real awkward about this now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. I don't know. I feel like I need to say that, but I feel really uncomfortable saying it. I just hate it. I just hope you like the video. I don't really care about the other rest of it, but I don't know. Everyone else says it. That doesn't mean you should do it. You shouldn't do things just because everyone else does. If you like the video, go visit my blog, which is linked down below. I like that much better. If you like the video, <laughs> check out my blog. It's linked down below. And thank you so much for watching. I know I like move around a lot in these, and if that's annoying, let me know. We'll try and do more stationery. I'm just a very animated talker. <laughs> okay, bye guys, and thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to stop now. I absolutely promise.